Hello everyone. Welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today in this video, we will understand router ID in OSPF. Router ID in OSPF is one of the important topic for interview. Right, Many time interviewers are asking questions from router ID in OSPF. Like interviewer can ask you what is router ID in OSPF or they can ask you to explain the election process of router ID, what will be the size of router ID, how router elect router ID in OSPF. Right. So today in this video, we will discuss everything about router ID in OSPF. OK. And if you are preparing for uh, interview in networking domain, guys, please keep patience and watch this video till the end. After watching this video, I am damn sure you will learn something new. Even you know what is router ID in OSPF. So without wasting our time, let's begin. So see router ID topic is router ID in OSPF. Here guys you can see I have one router. On this router I am running two loopback. Loopback 0 and loopback 1. On loopback 0 I am running IP 1.1.1.1 and on loopback 1 I am running this IP 11.11.11.11 and there are two physical active interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 on this interface F0 slash 0 I am running this IP 192.168.1.1 and on physical interface F1 slash 0, I am running this IP 192.2.2.2.2. Right? So on physical interface F0 slash 0, I am running 192.1.1.1. And on F0 slash 1, I am running 192.2.2.2.2. So see, first of all, what is router ID? So guys, router ID is an unique identification of a router in OSPF domain. So in OSPF domain, how we will identify router with the help of router ID. And this one is a unique identification. That means router ID of a router must be unique, right? In area, within area. That means in one area of OSPF domain, router ID must be unique. So here you can see router ID must be unique in OSPF area. After that, it should be Yes, it should be unique within an area of all routers. Then what is the election process of router ID? So as you know, router ID is 32 bits address and how we represent it? We represent it in IPv4 format, right? 32 bits address, which is represented in IPv4 format, right? And election process of router ID is first one is manual manual configuration right so manually you can define router id on a router so router will use that id for the identification in ospf domain right actually with the help of router id router identify the database right? as you know ospf maintain database so with the help of router id ospf router identify router as database fine so first process first election criteria for router id is manual configuration means manually on this router you will tell means you will tell to this router that your router id is suppose 10.10.10.10 .10 or your right router id is 200.200.200.200 anything manually you can configure but if you will not configure manually right if network engineer will not define router id on router then router will do what then router will check loopback interface look up for loopback interface if there is only one loopback exist so that ip address which is running on loopback interface will be elected as router id in ospf and if there is more than one loopback exist on router then highest ip address of loopback interface will be elected as router id in ospf guys understand very carefully first thing is manual configuration so if you will manually define router id router will use that id right for router id if you will not configure manually then router will look up for the ip address which is running on loopback interface if there is more than one loopback exist on router then highest ip address on loopback interfaces will become router id okay and if there is no loopback exist on router Suppose on, on a router you are configuring OSPF and there is no any loopback interface and manually if you will not define router ID then router will look up for IP address on active physical interface and again if there is more than one physical interface interfaces are active 
then router will choose highest IP address of physical interface as router ID, right? So second thing is highest, sorry, second one is if loopback is not exist, then highest IP address of physical interface will be elected as router ID. Now let me show you practically guys. So here in GNS3, I have one router, you can see, let me take access of this router. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. So here I am not running any IP address. Let me create loopback, loopback zero and IP address is 1.1.1.1. Submit mask 255.255.255.0. Just suppose then interface loopback one IP address is 11.11.11. .11 .11. Eleven dot eleven. Submit mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Uh, let me configure to physical interface as well. So interface f zero slash zero say no set and IP address is one ninety two dot one dot one dot one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Exit interface f zero slash one say no set. Sorry. 0 slash 1 is not exist on this router. So let me take interface F1 slash 0. Say no set and IP address 192.168. Uh, sorry, not 68. 2.2.2. 255.255.255.0. Fine. Now, if I will configure OSPF here, see router OSPF process ID is 1 then manually you can configure so first step is you will run this command router id and here let me define 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10, right so now if you will check so ip protocol and uh, a section router id router id so here you can see router id is 10.10.10.10 .10 so this is manual configuration first step first election process but if you will not define manually right let me remove let me disable ospf so run no router ospf one right now if you will run so ip protocol so here you can see i am not running any routing protocol on this router now now this time i am going to configure ospf but i will not configure router id manually config t after that router OSPF again process ID is same and this time I am not going to define router ID so if you will check so IP protocol section router ID here you can see router ID is now 11.11.11.11 .11 right so this time this router elect this router ID because this is IP address on loopback interfaces this one is highest IP address of loopback interfaces because there are more than one loopback exists now what will happen if I will shut down this loopback interface? Let me shut down it. Interface loopback one and say shut down. Or you can say no IP address. What do you think? What will be the router ID now? See guys, still router ID is 11.11.11.11. .11 .11. So router ID election will happen once, only once. So if you want to change router ID, you need to reset ospf process so what command you will run right because see now router id is 11.11.11 .11 .11, which is the ip address of loopback one but now loopback one is down so ip interface brief exclude unassigned here you can see not loopback one is exist on this router but still router is using router id that is 11.11.11.11 .11 .11. so if if you want to change right so we need to clear IP OSPF process. So we need to run this command and say yes, right? Now, if you will check process ID, sorry, router ID. So now you can see router ID is 1.1.1.1. This is IP address of loopback zero interface, right? And if there is no loopback exist on the router, interface loopback zero and say shut down. Right now, look back zero is not exist. So IP interface brief exclude unassigned. Here you can see look back zero is administratively done. And let me remove IP as well. So config t just wait, guys. 
go to interface loopback zero and say no ip address here now if you will verify so ip interface brief has proved and assigned here you can show no loopback is exist on this router right so now guys so ip protocol section dot id still dot id is 1.1.1 .1. so we need to clear ip ospf process again say yes okay and now c dot id is this one ip address of physical interface and this one is highest ip address of physical interfaces active physical interfaces right and if there is no in physical interface exists let me disable ip from here let me remove ip no ip address right and interface f1 slash 0 and say no ip address right now this time what will be the router id see still router id is 192.168.192.2.2.2 this time if i will reset clear ip ospf process this time router id will be what this time router id will be 0 .0 .0 0. C with clear IP OSPF process. Say yes. And CST router ID is 192. Wait, guys. Let me remove OSPF. No router OSPF 1. Fine. Here. Uh, let me so ip address so ip interface brief exclude as unassigned so ip interface brief exclude unassigned we, you can see no any interfaces are active on this router now now if i will configure ospf router ospf one so here you can see router id is what 0.0.0.0 .0 so if on a router there is no any loopback interface exist and if there is no any active physical interfaces are there and you will not define manually router id then router will choose 0.0.0 .0 as their router id so that's all guys hope this video is helpful for you if yes please hit on like button uh, we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye